February 25, Tuesday of the seventh week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and His disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee, but He did not wish anyone to know about it. He was teaching His disciples and telling them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill Him. And three days after his death, he will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they remained silent. They had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in their midst, and putting his arms around it, he said to them, Whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord The Greatest In following Jesus, the disciples aspire to greatness, especially since they see how Jesus enjoys honor and acclaim from the people. In response to their argument on who is the greatest, Jesus sets a child as an example of one who is great in their eyes and before God. The Aramaic word for child is the same as that for servant. Here, Jesus is asking his disciples to identify themselves with children, the little ones in age and those valued as little, as he himself does. Children and servant are unimportant and insignificant according to the world's standard. But for the Lord and in the kingdom of heaven, they are truly great because they have no personal claim to greatness. Indeed, the Lord lifts up the lowly and humbles the proud. <music> 